separately. Staggers are real important. This wheel in the back was grinding up against this metal bar. I threw my bike because, don't ask why I throw my bikes. And uh, this bar was so close to the front wheel that it was rubbing up against on it. So I've aligned the back wheel where it doesn't, but it still leans that way. And then the front wheel, after I threw it, it was on it so hard that it was staggering to have the wheel that hard permanently. So when that's of an occurrence, you can do a lot with the stagger. It's kind of like what a uh, setup is uh, or an assist. And it's essentially just a dash cancel, like a minute dash cancel. And so when you're doing this, it looks wonky. The You can do it with your feet. Um, I guess if you do a skip, if you do a skip with your feet, that's one. Uh, and then it's with your chest. If you pump it up and down, NSYNC was doing it on Bye Bye. If you, you can do this all the time with your feet or your chest. If you know how to, it's really easy. But there's a swivel and you use your swivel to increase like your wrist. You can do a swivel on your shoulders, your hips. You can swivel basically anything and they're great for juggling objects in between your elbow and hand or wrist, knee, ankle, top of your foot, or you can juggle stuff on your back if you know how to. And so this is a swivel. I fancy it the same as the um, cancels off of that ratio dashes, if you know how to. And they're the hardest to do because they're so wonky. But then again, if you know how to do it, you have a wonky subset, AKA a style. I'm not wasting any time jumping straight into what is described as on a large scale, what their certain things are. With is what's so hard to put your finger on too because um, the people in charge don't want you to. And I hope I've grabbed the attention of the um, board members. Whenever there's a school board and it's on the news, you're like, why is it this serious? And all these adults are acting like their life's on the line because their job security is. And that's why going to school boards to step in a puddle is so important because it's a good depiction of power from stuff. And is why people get attention uh, and cut and they have different boards of officials that are elected but when they say they're elected that only provides the power to do big boy and big girl moves at the adult table so a better depiction is divorce court if you ever had like a divorce court and then you can obviously just say that there's like um this different thing in divorce court if you have like this separate thing uh, you're going there and then it's like signing paperwork. I want to talk to people who have had parents in divorce. This is like this new time of the era where it's in the last like 30 years, there's been so many divorces where there's subjectively more divorces in the last 20 years or 30 rather than there ever has been in the last 100 years. And so in divorce court, this is when people have a change of decision and it's also inclusive of weddings because they have a whole bunch of taxes uh, that are cut. So these are big power moves. And this is what social media, if you look at the reflection of social media and the internet to divorce court in the last 20 years, uh, social media popped up and this thing skyrocketed in divorce courts because an imagery of what's good and bad has been made social. And this is what people uh, want to be handled uh, in upper leagues by um, promoting, I don't know, you can influence a lot, and this is where it's, it gets hard to put your finger on, but if you can't understand what I just said, the influence of one to the other, divorce court and social media, you're gonna miss the whole point. Watching wet paint dry. If you have a scientific, without a doubt, understanding of how certain paints dry, or all paint in general, knowing the difference of these two is huge. But once you do, it's, um, if you've got this, and this is so hard to do because when you're getting fine scaling and impressive things like this, uh, it's hard to do if it isn't dangerous because it's like the shape of the inner space. That's the name of a book title. A shirt that I would have is strong armed what? Cause there's strong armed robbery. But if you're defined aggression, 
you're actually putting a label on what aggression is from it not being one. And I know there's a firearm involved with strong arm, but I'm just using it for an example per se because I've seen a little kid and another little kid throw a ball at point blank range and the other one not flinch and catch it. That's some black mamba shit with a pad. They catch the ball on the pad. So this is huge because uh, a firearm discharged like that, um, that's almost more dangerous than a firearm at point blank range. And so in describing what strong arm is, I just have a shirt that says strong arm what? And then the other shirt would be like, how can you cancel me when I'm in the cage? But it wouldn't be funny unless I was in the cage, so I wouldn't probably wear that shirt unless I was going into a cage. And defining what cages are, it's hard to get canceled in one if you're doing aerobics in one. And people can't go around you because you're inside of its arc. So knowing that outage from a cage. There was uh, one weight and it got stuck on side. And this guy I knew right on the outside end because there's a wedge that got stuck in to press the outer side. And so it released it from the wedge. I'll draw it on paper later. But um, that's impressive because it's as simplistic just as what paint drying is uh, for describing binary. Unless you're Neo, you're not in the Matrix. And they tried to couple him seeing binary to being able to stop bullets. And so this being uh, a thing of aggression with bullets being what physicality is, their ballistics, their um, aerosols, if it's rain made to metal. And so Neo stopping these, so he subjectively was doing it with binary because he saw binary. So if you're doing these heavy moves in binary, this is what white collar is. And in moving uh, legislation and moving everything to smart objects, like so it's uh, able to glitch and you can't blame a computer. This is a huge thing where judges are illiterate. And so they can't understand machinery when it comes to huge moves of individuality when individuals are able to say and perform these larger than life things what society norms are it's when the uppers don't like it here's an example um someone who's writing a sentence and it's lengthy it can be the writer uh can get away with it if the publisher doesn't care and this is where publishers and signs on the ground are so bad because getting away with it is just a society acceptance and you're calling it a normal bias to social norms. So in a lengthy sentence, like street shoes are not allowed inside of the sauna at any time, period. That's a lengthy sentence, but the writer gets the benefit of the doubt because it's their original input. And so on behalf of an organization, you can get away with signs like this as opposed to Almost any teacher would tell you this is a sentence too long. You need a, a comma at any time because it's a run on sentence. But this is something where you don't have a say uh, on behalf of the organization. They wrote it like that. So it's written into set in stone. And there's stuff like this that's so apparent that equal to um, paint drying. It's really an impressive attribute to describe microscopics on a micro scale with macro levels. And I know I just doubled down with micro scale, uh, microcosm, you know, this whole thing with signs on the ground and signs written. Uh, that was one, I had one other one. So this is a triple double of doubling downs. Not to repeat the last one, but no, if you do a side dash, and this is with aerobics, and then you flare your leg up. It's for a setup or an assist, a setup for a combo or assist. Um, it's really dangerous because A, video games, when you're going to the side, very few of them have actually like shown the dynamics of this where it's useful because it's hard to orchestrate in binary. But if you're doing it like in real life, if you're not good at it, it's really easy to whiff punish because you're opening your whole side up where your head is forward naturally. So you're going to the sideways and you're flaring your leg up. If you grab that, it could be the easiest special move that your opponent can do on you because you're uh, virtually 
wide open if you uh, don't connect or make a setup or an assist. So that's why a side dash, if you flare up your leg um, to try and set up a combo or an assist, is one of the most dangerous moves that you can do. And I understand martial arts depicts this and those video game uh, announcers, if you've ever watched video games, uh, they just read off all these moves that they're doing high, mid, and low. And uh, side dash is like a mid, but it can be an upper or a low, depending on how you do it. It's essentially a, a ground sweep, a low sweep, but it's a mid, so that's why I'm saying a side dash with a leg flare up. That's like some Ken special move when he does the aerial kick to the side, but that's his special, but you're not in the air, so it's a side dash.